Picture yourself sitting quietly for a moment, completely still, while something extraordinary unfolds beneath your awareness. Your heart beats steadily, your breath flows naturally, yet deep within the microscopic corridors of your cells, an ancient transformation may already be unfolding. Most people never notice this shift. It happens without fanfare, without announcement, simply because your body remembers how to survive in ways your conscious mind has forgotten. This isn't about willpower or discipline. This is about biology recognizing an opportunity to reset, repair, and recalibrate systems that have been working overtime for months, perhaps years. The question isn't whether your body can adapt. The question is whether you can recognize the quiet signals it sends when healing may have already started. Inside your body right now, millions of cellular conversations are taking place in languages older than civilization itself. Your liver, that silent biochemical factory tucked beneath your ribs monitors blood chemistry with the precision of a master chemist. It knows exactly when glucose levels shift, when fat stores need to be accessed, and when ketone production may begin. Your pancreas, small but mighty, adjusts insulin release with microscopic accuracy, responding to signals you'll never consciously feel. Meanwhile, your brain orchestrates this symphony through neural pathways that stretch like highways through your nervous system, carrying messages at speeds that would make modern technology seem sluggish. Each organ operates as both an individual entity and part of a larger intelligence that has been refined through thousands of generations. Your kidneys filter blood with the dedication of tireless workers, your heart pumps with rhythmic consistency, and your digestive system knows when to rest and when to activate. This isn't mechanical function. This is living intelligence adapting to circumstances, making decisions, prioritizing resources. Every cell in your body carries the wisdom of survival encoded in DNA that remembers how to thrive during periods of abundance and scarcity alike. When you stop eating for extended periods, your body doesn't panic. Instead, it activates metabolic pathways that most people in our food abundant world rarely experience. Research suggests that within 12 to 36 hours, depending on individual physiology, health status, and activity levels, your liver begins converting stored glycogen into glucose to help maintain stable blood sugar. This process unfolds with remarkable precision. As glycogen stores gradually deplete, your system initiates what scientists call metabolic switching. Fat tissue begins mobilizing fatty acids, which travel through your bloodstream to your liver, where they undergo conversion into ketone bodies. These ketones become an alternative fuel source that your brain, heart, and muscles can often use efficiently, i.e. Studies observing human physiology show that this transition can occur between 16 to 18 hours after your last meal, though individual variation exists. The metabolic switch represents an evolutionarily conserved survival mechanism that shifts your entire energy system from glucose dependence to fat utilization. Your body may begin burning stored fat at rates that have been observed to reach 150 to 200 grams per day during deeper phases of this process. This isn't starvation. This is metabolic flexibility demonstrating its remarkable capacity to sustain you using internal resources. The transition happens so smoothly that many people report feeling surprised by their sustained energy levels once the initial adjustment period passes. Something fascinating occurs in your brain during this metabolic transition. As ketone levels rise in your bloodstream, these molecules cross the blood-brain barrier and begin feeding your neurons directly. Ketones provide a cleaner, more efficient energy source than glucose, according to multiple research observations often resulting in what researchers describe as enhanced cognitive function. Many people notice improved mental clarity, sharper focus, and what feels like a lifting of mental fog. This isn't imagination. Your brain may be running on what researchers describe as a more efficient fuel source. Studies have found that ketones are associated with increased production of brain-derived neurotrophic factor, a protein that supports the growth and maintenance of neural connections. Meanwhile, your stress hormone cortisol may begin to stabilize as your body adapts to its new rhythm. The initial spike that might occur during the first day or two gradually gives way to more balanced levels. Your nervous system starts shifting from the constant stimulation of frequent meals to a calmer, more focused state. You may feel discomfort on the surface, 
perhaps some irritability or restlessness. While inside, your neurotransmitter systems are recalibrating toward greater stability. Dopamine. Iron pathways become more sensitive, which may enhance your ability to find satisfaction in simple experiences. This neurobiological adaptation helps explain why many people report feeling mentally sharper and emotionally more stable as their fasting period extends beyond the initial adjustment phase. Uh, the transformation unfolds in distinct phases, each marked by subtle but significant internal shifts. Within the first 24 hours, your digestive system enters a state of rest it rarely experiences in our culture of constant eating. Your stomach may reduce digestive acid production on schedule, your intestines complete their final processing of previously consumed food, and your gastrointestinal tract can begin a period of repair and regeneration. Blood flows that would normally be directed toward digestion become available for other healing processes throughout your body. Your insulin levels drop significantly, allowing your cells to become more sensitive to this crucial hormone. This increased insulin sensitivity may persist well beyond your fasting period, potentially improving our body's ability to manage blood sugar for weeks afterward. Your heart rate may slightly decrease as your cardiovascular system adapts to reduced metabolic demands, while your blood pressure often begins a gentle downward trend. By 72 hours, something remarkable may begin to emerge from the cellular level. Your body can increase autophagy, a process that researchers describe as cellular housekeeping. Think of autophagy as your body's internal recycling program, where damaged proteins, malfunctioning organelles, and cellular debris get broken down and repurposed into useful components. This process operates constantly at low levels, but extended periods without food have been shown to increase its activity. Studies involving animals suggest that autophagy reaches significant levels between 24 to 48 hours of fasting, though the exact timing in humans remains an active area of research. The process appears to be particularly active in your brain, where it may support the clearance of certain cellular byproducts. Your immune system also begins showing signs of renewal, with older, potentially dysfunctional white blood cells being recycled and replaced with fresh ones. Why? The cravings may feel loud during this period. Your organs are working more quietly and efficiently than they have in months. As you approach the seven-day mark, under controlled conditions, your body demonstrates its remarkable capacity for adaptation and self-maintenance. Fat burning reaches a highly efficient state, with your liver producing ketones at levels sufficient to fuel your brain and other vital organs. Research has observed that people may lose significant amounts of body fat during this phase while preserving most of their lean muscle mass, particularly when the process is approached gradually and mindfully. Your growth hormone levels may increase, sometimes reaching levels observed to be five times higher than normal. This hormonal shift supports tissue repair, muscle preservation, and cellular regeneration throughout your body. Your inflammatory markers, including C-reactive protein, often show me ushurable decreases indicating that your body's inflammatory response is calming down. The outside may feel uncertain as you navigate social situations and food-related habits, but internally, order is returning to systems that may have been struggling with the constant demands of frequent eating. What unfolds next is quieter, but far more important. After 30 days of intermittent or periodic fasting practices, in some individuals, your body begins demonstrating changes that extend far beyond temporary weight loss. Your cardiovascular system shows improvements in multiple markers. Blood pressure tends to stabilize at healthier levels, Triglycerides often decrease and cholesterol profiles frequently improve. Your heart rate variability, a measure of cardiovascular resilience, may increase, suggesting that your heart is better able to adapt to various stressors. But the deeper change begins at the cellular level, where your mitochondria, those tiny powerhouses within each cell, become more efficient at producing energy. This enhanced mitochondrial function may translate into sustained energy levels and improved physical resilience. Your brain continues to benefit from improved ketone utilization, with some studies suggesting enhanced memory formation and cognitive flexibility. The most profound shift may be in your relationship with hunger itself. As your body becomes more metabolically flexible and less dependent on constant food intake for stable energy, your nervous system undergoes its own quiet revolution during extended fasting periods. The constant stimulation from regular meals gives way to a more balanced autonomic nervous system, 
your parasympathetic nervous system responsible for rest and repair functions gets more opportunity to operate effectively. This shift can manifest as improved sleep quality, better stress resilience, and a general sense of calm that feels different from temporary relaxation. Your brain produces increased levels of norepinephrine, a neurotransmitter associated with focus and alertness, which helps explain why many people report feeling mentally sharp despite not eating. The neuroplasticity of your brain, its ability to form new neural connections, appears to be enhanced during fasting states. This increased neuroplasticity may contribute to improved learning capacity and emotional regulation that persists well beyond the fasting period itself. The next phase reveals something your body rarely shows in our constantly fed society. Your immune system begins demonstrating remarkable regenerative capacity. Studies have observed that fasting may support the regeneration of immune cells, essentially giving your immune system a reset. Old, potentially dysfunctional immune cells are recycled through autophagy, while new, more effective immune cells are generated. This process may enhance your body's ability to fight infections and may help reduce the risk of immune imbalance. Your gut microbiome, the trillions of bacteria living in your digestive tract, also undergoes significant changes. Beneficial bacterial populations often increase while potentially harmful ones decrease, leading to improved digestive health and enhanced production of beneficial compounds like short-chain fatty acids. These changes in your microbiome can influence everything from mood regulation to immune function, creating positive effects that ripple throughout your entire system. Your body remembers every choice, even the gentle ones. This content is for general educational purposes only and does not constitute medical advice. Individual responses to fasting vary, and extended fasting may not be appropriate for everyone. Always consult a qualified healthcare professional before making significant changes to your eating or health routines. If learning how your body and brain quietly respond to everyday choices brings you clarity, consider subscribing to Viva Labs for more calm, science-based explanations. Viva Labs, where your body tells its quiet stories. What most people don't realize is that this metabolic flexibility extends far beyond simple fuel switching. Your body begins demonstrating something that researchers call hormonal orchestration. Your growth hormone, typically released in small amounts throughout the day, has been shown to increase during extended fasting periods. Studies have documented growth hormone levels rising five-fold or more compared to normal baseline measurements. This isn't your body panicking or compensating for missing nutrients. Growth hormone serves as a master regulator, protecting your muscle tissue while encouraging your system to utilize fat stores more efficiently. It supports tissue repair, cellular regeneration, and the maintenance of lean muscle mass even when no protein is coming from external sources. Your cortisol patterns, often erratic from the stress of modern eating schedules, begin to settle into more natural rhythms. The morning spike that should energize you and the evening decline that should prepare you for rest start functioning with greater precision. Your thyroid hormones adjust to support this new metabolic state, ensuring that your energy production remains stable even as your fuel source shifts completely. The transformation extends into territories that surprise even experienced researchers. Your blood chemistry undergoes subtle but measurable changes that reflect deep systemic adjustments. Inflammatory markers like C-reactive protein often decrease significantly, sometimes dropping by 20 to 30 percent within weeks of consistent fasting practices. This reduction in inflammation creates a cascade of improvements throughout your cardiovascular system. Your blood pressure tends to stabilize at healthier levels, not through force or medication, but through the natural relaxation of blood vessel walls and improved arterial flexibility. Your cholesterol profile frequently shows improvements, with triglycerides declining, and the ratio between beneficial and harmful cholesterol particles are shifting in positive directions. These changes don't happen because fasting forces your body into an unnatural state. They occur because your cardiovascular system finally gets the space and time it needs to recalibrate systems that have been under constant pressure from frequent meals and the metabolic stress that accompanies them. Your brain undergoes its own remarkable adaptation during this period, one that extends far beyond the mental clarity that many people notice in the early stages. The blood-brain barrier, that selective filter that protects your neural tissue, begins allowing ketones to pass through with increasing efficiency. 
as these ketones reach your brain cells, they provide what researchers describe as a premium fuel source. Ketones burn more cleanly than glucose, producing fewer metabolic waste products and generating energy with greater efficiency. This cleaner burning process may explain why many people report not just mental sharpness, but a quality of thought that feels different from their normal cognitive state. Your brain's production of brain-derived neurotrophic factor has been shown to increase during ketosis. This protein acts like fertilizer for your neural connections, supporting the growth of new dendrites and strengthening existing synaptic pathways. The enhancement in neuroplasticity that results may improve your capacity for learning, memory formation, and emotional regulation in ways that persist well beyond your fasting period. These seven signs reveal themselves not through dramatic announcements, but through the quiet intelligence of a system that has been waiting patiently for the chance to remember what it already knows. Your body speaks in whispers of improved sleep, steadier energy, and a calmness that feels earned rather than forced. The transformation happens whether you notice it or not, unfolding in the spaces between thoughts, in the rhythm of your breathing, in the gentle efficiency of organs finally allowed to work as they were designed to work.